Stephanie Milkey here, a.k.a. Keto Mom, or often called mom, sis, Steffi, daughter, wife, aunt, and friend. Just like many of you, I carry a lot of titles. My favorite title is mom. I should probably say wife, which takes a lot of my time. But let's be honest. If you want to do something and do it well, you will make the time for it. Commitment is hard because we find ourselves overcommitted. But when you practice prioritizing, you will find out what is actually important and what you can let go. With the Keto Mom Podcast, you will learn together how to manage our time, commit to the most important things in life, and I will equip you with the tools you need to feel qualified each step of the way. My name is Stephanie Milkey, and welcome to the Keto Mom Secrets Podcast. Welcome to the Keto Mom page. Welcome to my kitchen. Welcome. We just got done with CrossFit. I was going to come on here and go... Welcome, we're making lunch. What are you having for lunch? All right. Welcome to the Keto Mom page. My name is Stephanie Milky. My girls are making me laugh. My husband just made some tuna fish and used way too much relish in his tuna fish. I wonder why. And this is what we are having. All right. I actually did want to come on here really quick for a couple of reasons. I actually came on here for a specific reason. Uh, what are you having for lunch? This is what this I'm is having. What I'm having. <laughs> All right, we're having some tuna fish. Oh. I'm actually making tuna fish. We, my, we just got done with CrossFit. Intermittent fasting has been going well. I'm not trying to be scatterbrained. Our girls are making so much fun of me because they say I'm acting like a teenager. I look like my mother. I'm almost 40. Totally not a teenager. Although, I have two of them. <laughs> All right, here's the deal. As you tune in. I need you to share with me. What are you having for lunch? Only because it gives me a uh, other, it gives other people ideas of what they're having. So good morning, good afternoon. Did you get your workout in today? We just got done with CrossFit, hence the CrossFit workout. Look, uh, we'd, what we, we, you guys, you know what we did today? We did a crazy workout. We had to do 100 and, was it 160 sit-ups? 60. 60 a piece, 120. We had to do a partner workout. And then we had to do 12 rope climbs split, and then we each had to do 100, no, 120? Yeah. 120 wall balls. You guys know what that is? Doesn't matter. If you're in CrossFit, super hard. All right. The conversation is around a couple of things. Number one, what are you having for lunch? We keep it so simple in our home. Tuna fish. My husband has canned salmon no, with lunch. mustard and mayo and relish, and we are having some low-carb wraps. I actually really like these. They're little baby wraps. So we have these wraps with some tuna fish and or, uh, have you guys seen these? Did we get these at Costco? We did. So we've gotten these ones at Costco. They're a little bit, they're a little bit bigger wraps. So we keep it so simple in our home, especially after CrossFit, intermittent fasting. Uh, I feel like is going incredible. Let me know if you're intermittent fasting and how it's going, if you have any questions specifically about intermittent fasting. Uh, also share what you're having for lunch below because it gives other people ideas. Did you pack your lunch? Did you go out for lunch? And if you went out for lunch, share what you had. Because oftentimes people think that if they go out for lunch, they can't make their own meals or it's too hard to eat low carb. And in fact, I feel like it's the opposite because you can order anything that you want. You can substitute anything that you want and make a better option. So we're keeping it super simple and we are having tuna fish and or salmon out of a can. Is that what you're having, Steve? With relish and mustard. Um, all right. Something else. Uh, how many days do I intermittent fast? Good question. Uh, five days a week, Monday through Friday. So right out of the can. Yeah. Tuna fish right out of the can. My husband likes to add yucky stuff to it. I could eat it out of the can or some mayo. So yeah. Okay. So we've got two calls coming up tonight. The first zoom. So I get to interview a doctor, another doctor tonight. So I've interviewed a doctor. His name is Dr. Ryan Lowry. He's really on. So Dr. Ryan Lowry and Dr. Jacob Wilson wrote the book called the ketogenic Bible. And so if you're ever looking for an incredible keto resource that really helps you understand keto, low carb, a lot of medical answer, like a lot of medical questions and recipes, the ketogenic Bible is a great resource. And so I interviewed Dr. Ryan a couple weeks ago. I interviewed Dr. Andy a couple weeks ago. Today I'm interviewing Dr. Jacob Wilson. And so if you want to be a part of that interview and if you want to hop on and watch or listen, he's gonna talk about four different things. He's gonna talk about why you should drink ketones. He's gonna talk about specifically intermittent fasting, the how-to and all of the science behind it and the power of intermittent fasting. I'm pretty sure he's gonna talk about movement. He's very much on the athletic side. 
Um, and he's going to talk about, oh shoot, I forgot one more thing. So you have to hop on the Zoom. If you wanna hop on the Zoom uh, about learning about ketones and intermittent fasting, post Zoom in the comments and I'll send that to you. I actually have two Zooms. So actually we need to be specific. You need to post, what are we posting? Zoom, you can post Zoom down below and I'll, and, and I'll invite you to that Zoom. Um, then I have another Zoom later this evening and that's gonna be all about the company behind the product that I drink. So who this company is, the opportunity, if you're ever looking for something to do from home, like I was just talking to a mom at the CrossFit gym and she's like, I'm looking for something to do from home so I can homeschool my kids, so I can stay home with my kids. Uh, I've got people that are like, I'd love to have a side job to help pay, and pay off some debt. I'd love to just have some friends and have a community. If you scroll through my stories, uh, throughout the week, every week I hop on a Zoom and we get to lead a team and we get to meet with people uh, at events. And so I'll tell you that this, these ketones are amazing. The first Zoom is going to be all about how these work, what they do. We're going to talk about intermittent fasting and how incredible it is. And I get to interview him, so it'll be super great. The second Zoom is going to be hearing from our team, uh, what the team aspect is all about, the opportunity, the community. If you want to be on that Zoom, let's say you already love ketones or you're looking for something to do on the side. If you want to be my friend, you know, if you if you're honestly thinking I would love to do something or I would love to hear more about the business opportunity, I want you to post opportunity in the comments and I'll just send you that link. Both Zooms are tonight. And so I'll post opportunity. If you can't hop on, I'll send you the replay, but I'd love for you to hop on the on the Zoom. So, we've got a couple of things going on tonight. Otherwise, I just want to hop on here and just check in with you. I actually wanted to see how are you doing as you're going into this? How are you doing like mid-January? How are you doing with your keto goals? How are you doing with your health goals? How are you doing with anything that you put on your vision board or anything that you've set goals for yourself and going to this year? How are you doing? And if you're like, uh, I'm not doing, it's okay. I can help you either get back on track or get on track or get moving in the right direction. And so whatever you're looking for, you can always ask questions in the comments. You can send me a message and I will answer you, uh, whatever it is that you need. So whether it's like, I need a, I need like a kick in the booty to get going or, Hey, I actually feel great. Here's a question. Or you know what? Here's a great spot for accountability. Oftentimes people will say, I don't have anybody in my sphere of influence. Or, I don't have anybody that I feel like holds me accountable. So at CrossFit and something that I love about it is the same girl that I was talking to about wanting to work from home or just homeschooling her kids. Uh, also, we were talking the other day about how incredible the gym is because it's easy to give up on yourself if nobody knows what you're doing. It's easy to go, I'm tired, I'm gonna quit at four reps instead of 15. It's easy when you yourself are the only one holding you accountable. When you have other people knowing your goals and knowing what you're doing, you don't let yourself off the hook as easily. So at CrossFit, I know that they're counting my reps. Like today was a team workout and we each had to go back and forth. And, I, and if I was working out in my home, after so many reps, I would have been like, easily could have told myself, I'm tired, that was good enough, I'm done. But because I was working as a team and we were counting each other's reps and we knew what we were doing, we held each other to a higher standard, right? You, you have a higher standard where people know what you're doing. So I would tell you this, if you've never had an accountability partner, if people don't know your goals, throw it out on social media, tell your mom or your sister or your friend or your coworker, I need you to be my accountability partner. Check in with somebody, you can check in with me, you can send me a message because it's going to hold you to a level that will help you not quit. When it gets hard, when you get tired, when you don't wanna do it, when you've got cravings, like it is super important and I see it in my gym performance because I'm getting so strong and so buff and I wouldn't be getting this strong and buff if I gave up on myself. I was waiting for my family to laugh at me, but they're clearly not listening. So anyways, I hope you guys have an incredible day. It was more of a check-in. I want to know how you're doing. Ask any keto questions below. We've got a couple Zooms coming up today. So if you want to hop on the ketos or the ketone Zoom to hear from one of the doctors uh, and scientists, uh, post Zoom below. If you want to hop on my Zoom to hear more about the incredible opportunity, post opportunity below. Otherwise, I am going to go make some tuna fish, breaking the intermittent fasting, and it's going to be an incredible afternoon. I look forward to chatting with you later. We'll talk to you soon.